Yes. Okay. I'm recording. And um, so, yeah, someone's commenting on, you know, being followed by, I don't know, maybe a predatory person or a bad person, whatever it may be. And uh, this particular situation was challenged, but I do remember, I think this is an intuitive thing, but I do remember something um, that Hawkins says. And it was quite interesting, very, very similar. So he's being followed. I mean, uh, Hawk, Dr. David R. Hawkins, he was Bill Wilson's sponsee. He's quite a short, small guy, very small, short guy. So he's not, he couldn't really, you wouldn't, I think most villains would be able to take him out. So he'd be no threat to anyone. Anyway, so he was, uh, and he was quite, you know, he's quite rich and successful and lives in a very good part, I believe then, of New York. And uh, one day, you know, they've got a lot of muggers there who are waiting for easy victims to mug. And one day he was walking and, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, I think he mentioned a few things, if I can remember it correctly. One, he was um, being followed by someone. He heard the footsteps and he was able to, his intuition was that this was a bad character, probably someone who's going to mug him. And he knew that if he responded with fear and tried to run away, this guy would easily take him when he responded from fear and he'd be, he'd be mugged or taken down. So his intuition was to challenge the guy, actually in a way. And uh, actually, I think what he did was he just sort of uh, turned and tried to actually startle and shock the guy. I don't know, he probably stuck his tongue out and, and did something like that and screamed at him and said something like, better luck next time, just to really shock the guy. And then, and then he got away and, and his intuition guided him correctly that to behave with fear in you know, being followed by some, some stranger was the wrong thing in that situation to do. And so he just had to do the unexpected and he startled it. And I believe he was once in an elevator and I forgot the full story, but it's a doc story. So I'm sure many docs do. And he was in an elevator and there was, uh, you know, obviously some ruffians in there. I forgot what he said, but I think he made a joke or something. And uh, I think they laughed and, uh, and he knew that he wouldn't be the victim that day. Anyway, so it's an intuitive thing. What would I do if I was being followed by some, some ominous person? Um, I, you know, I think it would be, it would have to be, I'd have to follow my intuition and try and sort of, I'd probably do a few prayers, place the person into God's infinite life, pray for miracles, play, pray to the Holy Spirit for divine intuition and guidance, pray for protection. And then I'd follow my intuitive guidance. Should I run? Should I scream? Should I uh, confront the person? Um, so, um, yeah, so uh, it would have to be an intuitive decision, hopefully with a bit of prayer. Okay, I'm going to